when you look at this picture of cuteness, you were looking very happy with yourself, Tal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we seem to have we seem to have acquired a fifth dog. Poor bear. Despondent. Alfred. Hey, piglet. Big stretch. <laughs> So this morning um, I've woken up with some bumps on my feet. Well, one of them. This this one we think was yesterday. We thought it was yesterday, but maybe it was maybe there it, before. Yeah, and then this one, um, these Which two one the weren't there yesterday. They arrived this morning somehow or last night. I felt. This morning I felt like it was on fire in bed, so I just kept sticking it out of the covers. Um, but it looks like maybe I got bitten by something. We thought, because yesterday we were standing like around a lot of ants in Abbotswood, so we thought this one was yesterday um, from an ant. But, um, but I mean, it looks like these, so we're thinking maybe I got bitten before I left home and. I only really started noticing like. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised you wouldn't have noticed it because like your thongs sit there and you were wearing thongs yesterday. Well, I thought it was irritation from weird. my thongs initially, mm. but like, that's not anywhere the straps. That's like the actual. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, the actual yeah, like I, foot yeah, of my thong. Definitely the. Yeah, I thought it was my strap that was like ir mm. irritating it, but I don't think it was. So my whole foot feels like it's on fire and it feels really puffy and it hurts to walk on. So. That's kind of annoying. Um, I think someone is interested in pancakes. Hi, well, friend. <laughs> oh, look at Chili. Chili is just very happily sitting on Alfie's leg. I think Tilly thinks she's actually above Alfie on the chain because mm. have you noticed though he's the only one that she'll come and like sit on, sit on. Mm. so he doesn't seem to care he always gets annoyed initially and then he just oh, whatever he goes ah, too much effort whatever can't be bothered I figure he thinks he's got the better deal because I'm sitting on this side anyway mm. oh yeah Metamus made us pancakes I forgot to say it's Pancake Sunday. <clears throat> How do you guys eat your pancakes? I normally roll mine up and dip them into things. Mr. Moose always has his with maple syrup. And it has to be like real maple syrup or he cracks the shits. No, I just don't like fake maple syrup. So, you know, I think you might as well buy the real stuff. Mm -hmm. Wilfred likes his dipped in yogurt. Alfie is performing. We have a few things um, to get done today. I managed to get my contacts in, so that's step one. Um, but I think probably I want to drop off some donation stuff and go to the storage unit. Um, there's quite a few things to donate. It. Hey, 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 Wolfred, no. Wolfred's trying to escape. Um, but um, we do have to empty the car out first, which is completely choppers, so, yeah.
little bit of water in the pool. Tilly's just realised there's a pool here. She's been running around it for a few days and that she just noticed. Well, she noticed a couple of days ago. A couple of days ago and jumped up. So, let's see if she wants to go somewhere. Yeah, she wants to go somewhere. Yeah, she needs a tennis ball to, to run around with her. Oh, that's awkward. With her feet as she starts paddling. Oh, no. She doesn't start paddling. Anyway. Where's the water? You need the, you need the, um, Good boy, Wilfred. Oh, he's walking around. Good boy. He's not trying to get out. Good boy, Wilfred. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Not sure, but he realizes he, he can stand and not drown, so he's, he's, he's okay. He's not wagging, but he's not he's freaking okay. out. I don't know if he's going to appreciate it, though, if you make him wet. He's holding his tail above the water. <laughs> Just wait, Tilly. Wait. He's drinking the Is there anything in the pool? Oh, no, 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 no. Don't drink it. Don't drink it. Have a paddle, Wilfred. Wilfred. If I drink buddy. it all, can I get out? Yeah. Can I come out, bud? Call him to the other side. See if I walk around. He's he's trying to eat the leaves. Wilfred, come here. Look at dog. Wilfred! Good boy, you can walk. Yeah, you can walk. Yeah, it's okay. Good boy. He seems a bit Wilfred. drunk on his feet in here. Yeah. Come here, Wilfred. There you go. Actually, you know what? Um, if, uh, if we've got the spare line of it at least, we should just buy all the, the kids' plastic balls and fill it up. Just a layer on the bottom for Tilly. Okay, Hi Tilly, I see you. Alfie. Here, Alfie. Alfie totally doesn't trust him. He's like, no, you're gonna chuck me in the pool. <laughs> I do do that to you. Watch. You having fun, Wolfa? Go for a paddle? Maybe we can have the paddling pool for Wilfred and then the big pool for Tilly. Alright, so actually, do you want salad for lunch too? No? Okay. I'm having a salad for lunch. I had a weird craving for salad, which doesn't happen very often, so I'm indulging it. Got some spinach, um, cashews, feta. I'm gonna just microwave some pumpkin to put in there too. And we also picked up this um, dressing, Japanese dressing. I don't know how well that will go, but we'll see. And then we're also going to make smoothies. So we've got watermelon, mangoes, um, strawberries, and we've got to finish this yogurt today. So we'll put that in. And then we've also just got a couple of um, Lebanese cucumbers for the doggos because it's super hot today for them. So we've got two in the freezer and just two, I'll pop them in the fridge so they can have a snack. I have officially, almost officially, finished my last assignment for the study period it's just submitted for draft and it's 30 pages long so that was painful but I'll get the um, originality report back within probably a couple of hours and then I can submit and I'm a day early because my extension is actually till tomorrow morning but I'm gonna submit it tonight if I can because I don't want to think about it for dinner I'm having another pumpkin feta cashew salad and also um, this is the leftover of our gnocchi bake the salad is delicious though the um, dressing is really nice and it just kind of all blends in together so very tasty so now that I've finally finished my assignments I'm going to do what I wanted to do for a while which is sort out my craft stuff I have a lot of stuff to organize because this is my craft stuff, and I think there might even be one or two other boxes. And by craft stuff, I mean specifically like clay, uh, 
hard clay, soft clays, resins, jewelry making, deco den. Those five things. So I want to sort out something. Um, there's a few sewing things in here as well. Like there's um um what are they called? Like pops and stuff in here as well. So I need to figure out where everything will go. Um, and then I can move it to my bedroom. And I also have a Daiso haul to show you guys. The heart shaped foam, not foam, like, um, they're like packing peanuts, but they're heart shaped. And these ones are blue and white and green, and these ones are all pink and white. They're so pretty. The next things are like wall stickers or decals. So this one's got some kitty cats and it's all really pretty colours. And then some sakura flowers and some really happy fat cats and a bunny. I like this one. So I'm going to decorate my walls with those once the paint has dried. Okay, here's the rest of it because I thought it'd be easy to do it this way. So we've got a little bit of food stuff. This is matcha flavored namuna, which we've never seen before. So, yeah, we should put that in the fridge. And I also got some seaweed, salted seaweed to put on rice. And two packets of yakisoba. So, pretty excited about that. And then the rest is all. Oh, wait, no, there's some toiletries. So, toiletry stuff, bathroom stuff. So this is just el elastic that I use to make my hair ties. Um, a bath bomb with some stackable caps. An octopus shaped, I actually have an octopus shaped um, head point scalp point tool massager. Head massager. Head massager. Um, some razors. The eyeliner that I always use. And these super cute strawberry, diamante strawberry hair ties. Okay, and then the craft stuff, there's uh, some molds. So these are for clay. So this one makes like cupcakes, cupcake mold, but it's for paper clay, not um, not polymer clay, so they'll stick. But, and then this is like the Ponda Lion donut and a round donut. This one makes, um, this one is the, it's hard to see in the slide, but this one's for um, a chocolate bar. This one's for a biscuit. This one does waffles. Um, these are just some silicon molds. They only had one type with the bird and the cat and the unicorn, but I thought they'd be cute to test out. Um, this is hair elastic I used to make um, craft hair tie stuff. And then these two uh, glittery eyeshadows I'm going to use in resin. So this one's pinks and purples. And this one is whites, purples, blues. Very pretty. Um, this is another mold, but I'm actually going to use this for food. Because it's too big for clay. <laughs> Waste a lot of clay using this. Um, to make rice molds. So that's cute. And I got two types of resin. They only had these two types of resin. Um, so there's hard resin, which is this, oh wait, no, I think they're both hard resin. Yeah, yeah, they're all hard resin, but they only had two colors. So this one's clear and glitter, and this one is, um, like a mint, mint teal color. So it's called milky green. So I'm going to play with those just because I've never, um, played with UV resin before and I thought it might be fun. And then these are meant for your nails, but, um... They're a little bit hard to see. There we go. So they're just like seashells and starfish and cute little things. I thought they might be really cute for resin. Some bezels to resin, some more bezels to resin, some more bezels to resin, but I might also use these ones to make, um, they could be little pie pans for polymer clay tarts and stuff. So that could be cute. Um, some 90 mil cups to mix resin. So they're just disposable because um, we tried to use the silicon um, cupcake liners that we have because we thought like we could just peel off the resin once it's dry but it's too thin in there to set 
so it means you have to clean it out with acetone and that's kind of painful so we've got these cups instead and then the last thing I got was just from their sweets deco range just the um little parfait bowl things to make little deco things very cute and that was it I was pretty restrained Mr. Moose was giving me a look but no I was pretty restrained I didn't get a lot of the things I was going to get um and I spent uh, I think about a hundred dollars, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, I spent about a hundred dollars. Everyone's always like, "How do you spend that much at, at like a two dollar shop?" But it's not hard. It's very easy. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna add this to my collection because I have two weeks before exams. That's two weeks of crafting time, and maybe some exam preparation, but maybe mainly crafting time. Good morning. It's Monday morning. It's a beautiful day outside. It's blue skies. I think it's going to be like 30 degrees today. But it's still nice and cool. Good morning, itchy one. We swapped over the tables. I don't remember if I said this yesterday. It's so beautiful. It fits perfectly. It's the same height as the white table because there's a gap underneath you can like actually sit without hurting your back that's the downside to that table is it's not very good for adults like adult bodies to sit because you hurt your back too much but if you're a kid you can like kneel and it's a good height so there's that Tilly I'm gonna open that is that okay she doesn't like the drawer and so we put in our coloring books and coloring pencils and our heat pack that we use when we're at the TV an extension cord, a uh, power board that we always need to have around here, all the Wii remotes and the TV remotes. So that is a really handy drawer because I was able to like clear off the top there. Um, I'm gonna leave like the the candle, not candle burning. Um, what's it called? The essential oil burning thing up there though, because I don't want the dogs to like accidentally lick it or anything like that. Good morning, cuteness. No, oh, good morning. <laughs> the dog was being well behaved. So all that stuff is from Abbotsford, right? It's all like bedding and stuff. So I, oh, you okay, Tilly? You okay, hon? Oh, oh, you okay? What happened? You okay? Oh, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Did you swallow something? better? Oh, yep, yep. Expected outcome. Are you okay, Tilly? Are you being a small wall? Anyway, so all this bedding is from Abbotsford. I stripped down this morning to wash everything because we haven't washed it since the last guest was there. Um, yeah, yeah, good job, Tilly. <laughs> um, we stripped out my bed last night as well we could not find any spiders so we do not know what the situation is with that but mr moose reckons if there was a spider in there which there probably was at this point um then it's dead now i probably squished it in my sleep and that's why it bit me hi tilly oh you're being absolutely cute are you being absolutely cute yeah anyway so here's an update on my foot a pretty big like blistery thing there and these ones are still there as well there's one here and one here um my foot in general is less swollen so that's probably a really good sign um and so these ones don't appear as bad but these are one day behind this so we'll see if it does the same thing but um yeah they're pretty painful and I can't really walk on a flat foot, so I'm kind of hobbling around. So my plan to start running today again, that's not going to happen. But it's okay. I have a valid excuse. Like, it hurts even just to wear thongs. So I don't think I'm going to be wearing shoes for, like, at least another week. Which is fine, because it's going to be 30 degrees. Okay, now, this is the stuff from last night. I'm still working on it. Um, I did those tubs at the very back, 
over here, those four back at the back. I sorted two of them, so all my polymer clay and edit air clay, uh, air clay, like soft clay, um, and decoden stuff is in there. And then all the resin is in the next one. And then the two are, one is like molds that I haven't kind of sorted through and the other one is like junk right now. Um, but I'm still kind of working on this stuff here. So that is going to be a big portion of today, but I'm going to do it in between doing like things I actually need to do for the house. Um, so I have the first load of laundry going, probably like 10 loads of laundry today if I can fit them in. Not that I mind because laundry is my favorite thing to do ever. Um, and I am editing yesterday's, not yesterday's vlog, last week's vlog. I just have to put in Saturday, but that's the exciting portion with like the auction and stuff in it. So that will happen. Um, and then once that's um, rendering, I should be able to hang up the other load and then like start doing all of that stuff. Look what arrived! It's so pretty! How beautiful! So the Jekyll order was super fast. I think I ordered it like Wednesday or Thursday? Maybe even Friday. And it's Monday, not even noon. And it has all arrived. And one of them they had to order from the supplier. Um, so that as well would have taken extra time, but oh my god, they're all here. I haven't gotten um, hardcover, well, not the softcover, but I haven't gotten like paper copies of textbooks in like over a year, I think, because I've been just been getting everything as an ebook because it's cheaper. It's like usually about half the price. Um, but obviously none of these were available, so they are all brand new and they're all brand new because there were no secondhand copies because they're all new new. So this is really exciting. Is it sad that I'm really, really excited about reading these, like... It's like, it's like a new Matthew Riley book has come out and I want to read it. It's like that. Like, I would just want to sit down and start reading these. So this is the model act. And then it's got like... Oh, it's so beautiful. What I really like about this um, book is that it's got a lot of, there's a lot of discourse and a lot of like cases that you can refer to and it's just really, it's really beautiful and it actually explains things and um, talks about like, it's not just like the model act like it actually has explanations of everything as well which is really nice and it's quite small it's like um it's like the same size as a as an actual like an act act like the bluey green like teal colored acts it's like the same size as that but probably thicker but yeah so there's that one and then this is the one that they had to order in from the supplier because they only i think they only keep it at the actual supplier um so it's the 40th anniversary edition so it's bright pink and beautiful it's pretty thick it's about this it's a little bit bigger than the other book but it's like twice as thick and this one is beautiful it's got um it's got all the cases relevant cases to certain um sections of the act and it explains um, precedent that happens and it's really beautiful so this one's going to be really handy for referring to cases about stuff and when the statute becomes when the basically when the legislation is relevant that's how it helps because it tells you exactly how it works and I'm pretty excited about that one as well this is a big boy. He is a very, very big boy. He is like, uh, he is like, I don't know, that's a many pages. He is a many page boy. His index is friggin' massive too. He is almost a thousand pages of beautiful, and he's, he's big. He's a big, big one. Um, so this is the policy book. It's actually written by 
The same guy who did this. Um, so I'm pretty sure he's actually like from Cut and Uni, I think. Maybe from memory. Oh, it's from Griffith, yeah. So he's from Griffith, which is the um, uni I go to. But um, it's not like he's just tatting his own um, textbooks because uh, the subject is through ACU, not Griffith. So it just happened. But if I like the stuff that he does, then I very well may... Well, he's in law. He's not in OHS specifically. But anyway, um, so it's pretty exciting. It's so beautiful. Oh, it's like, oh, I want to read this. I want to read this. <gasps> Give me the glasses. It's so exciting. So exciting. So I think this one is probably a bit drier, a little bit more textbooky, but I'm still super duper excited to read this. And I've got to say, Based on, are you right there, bear? Maybe you shouldn't sunbake in 30 degrees if you're gonna be this hot, dripping drool everywhere. Doofus. If I'm gonna have textbooks in the house, like these are the kind I want, like beautiful, beautiful ones. And then this is my least exciting one. Um, it's just performance management, and I'll probably. I don't know. I, I may sell this afterwards because I don't really want it. But I need it. But it's um it's pretty thin. Um, text is big and easy to read. And it's just on like career management basically. So and it's meant to be a new copy, but it's actually pretty scraggly, like the ends are all spent and the cover's scratched up and the back is like pretty like scratched up, so um, I don't know if it was just like the last one and it was stored badly or something, but it's not in great condition. I wouldn't have pulled this one off the shelf if I was getting a new textbook, because I would have thought this was a secondhand textbook, but the inside looks fine, so I think it's okay. Oh, hi. I see you found yourself a, a, a nest. What's this here? Making masks. I was like, I want to get off. Hi, Hello. So the doggies are all panting because they just ran in. I think they were going up to outside. Mr. Moose just mowed the lawn. So they finally can play. Because it's really, it's been really tall, so they've really been able to run around properly. There you go. And I am currently in the process of sorting out parts. It's very exciting. Why that is? What are you doing? Just sitting there waggling. It's not quite as pathetic as you. What are you trying to do? You can't sit on my. No, 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 no. Don't even think about it. What? Don't. What? You've knocked over so many things today already. It's your fault you don't watch where your feet go, you big glue. I can't see your bloody feet. You're all the way back there. It's not my fault you can't see your own bloody feet. Yes, it is. You're my mother. What? It's your genetics. You're all Mr. Moose with your flowing blonde locks and your big galooty feet. Boy. Yeah. Mr. Moose doesn't have galooty feet. He does have big galooty feet. No, man. The five size is bigger than mine. Take their galooty. What are you doing? I can't help you. No one can help you. No one can help you. Hi. You're so beautiful. 
<laughs> He's like, not my valley. Can we like one of your French girls? What are you doing? Hey, you're tangled. You wanna get up? No, nothing. No response. I'm starting my Tuesday morning um, editing. I had a couple of bagels for breakfast and I'm having an iced coffee. Mr. Moose made me coffee in the um, cold brewer, so it's working now. There was an issue. We got um, the replacement and there was an issue with like the new valve and it wasn't working, so I think he had to replace it. But now it's working, so we've got coffee, which is really nice. It's going to be 34 degrees today. It's a really beautiful day, but it's already too hot. It's not even noon, so I've got the aircon on. The doggos are just struggling in this heat. Tilly is so itchy today. Um, the pool was the replacement pool liner was meant to arrive yesterday, but it didn't. So we're hoping it will arrive today so that we can fill it up and she can go swimming tomorrow because tomorrow is still going to be like high 20s, I think. But we covered her in cortisone this morning because she was just like she's starting to scratch herself up and bleed so she is struggling um, and so it's 34 degrees right Wilfred is snuggled under a pile of dunas he just climbed in and made himself at home so he just really likes to be overly warm I think like he'll stay under the duna when he sleeps with me for hours and hours like all night he'll stay under the duna and now he's lying in the sun under the dunas. Hi. Good morning. No. Oh, oh, oh. No. Dinner tonight is Palmer's. I'm having my schnitzel cut up and in my salad. Because I'm still digging salads. Also, I may have done some laundry. But we can still see the documentary behind, so it's fine. Guys, I just got my results back for my training and development assessment. Um, which I did, I think, like three or four weeks ago now. Um, yeah, I got 47.5 out of 50, uh, which Mr. Moose says is like 95%. And I also got an email from my lecturer to say I got the highest mark in the class, so that's really good. I am pretty happy with that. And yeah, he gave me really comprehensive feedback as well. There was about two pages of written feedback, which is uh, the most I've ever gotten from anybody before. And... Um, I'm feeling pretty confident about the exam now, based on that, and uh, it was um, it was the unit that I was feeling the most confident about already to begin with, so um, yeah, I'm just, I'm really happy because I spent a lot of time, like, getting it getting it to the shape it was so very very pleased with that my poor little tilly pup she's so itchy today she's got scratches all over her skin and she's bleeding in a few places so I just lathered her with some Neocort, which is like a cortisone cream. I'm gonna have her eat a cucumber to leave a bit of time so she doesn't lick it. Tao is in the other room playing with a piece of cucumber that I gave her. She's so excited. She always plays with her vegetables. Um, 
the boys were not interested in cucumber, they've decided. So Tilly is very happily munching down. I was thinking for Christmas I might get her a continental cucumber because they're like three times as long. And I'm pretty sure cucumbers can't be bad for dogs at all because it's just water, right? So she looks pretty happy. It's a nice cool treat. She's very easy to please. Alright, so I am working on wrapping a few presents and figuring out who I've got presents for because I've kind of lost track. Um, I bought myself some chocolate digestive cookies which are delicious and I've got some... Oh, I think Tao might have just swallowed her cucumber. She's making choking noises. Tao, you okay? Oh, no, she's fine. She's still running around. And I'm going to try sell um, this perfume that Ben had. It's an unopened bottle. Um, and we don't really know anyone who um, like would wear perfume. So I'm going to see if I can sell this. It's six o'clock and I'm having some dinner. I have another huge bowl of salad. I had the same one last night, but um, I didn't finish it. I had just like maybe half a cup of stuff left. So I heated it up and put it into today's salad. Um, so there's about um, two cups of spinach. There's um, another schnitzel in there. There's some croutons, which is the new addition today. Um, we'll see how they go. They're meant to be olive, and, olive oil and sea salt, but they don't taste that much, to be honest. I thought they'd be saltier. Um, and then pumpkin, feta, and the Japanese dressing. So I'm really digging these. I think I've had salads for like four days in a row now for dinner. So it's going well. Oh, and there's cashews too. It is such a dreary day today. We are having a bit of a cuddle this morning. Oh, hi. It's been raining since last night. I think we're expecting, I think they said 15 to 20 mils over the next few days, so. It's been raining the whole time. Hi. Hello, Ben. Good morning. Good morning. He's not in a cuddly mood today. No, we're just sad. We haven't been able to bark at anyone yet. <laughs> so, um, let me flip the camera. Sorry about the glasses glare. Um, I've been up since 8. Uh, I slept super badly, so <clears throat> I'm pretty tired. I take a nap today, especially with this weather. I'm going to try to get my contacts in soon because my, um, my nose is getting irritated. But today's plan, um, one, is to wait for my package that was meant to be delivered on Tuesday, by Tuesday afternoon, and it's now Thursday. Um, it's <clears throat> very exciting, and I can't wait. Um... And it was meant to be express posted, but it hasn't been so far. So apparently it's on board with the driver today. Hopefully it'll get here soon. I'm losing my voice as well. Um, but anyway, today's plan is to move all this bedding, fold it up, find some space for it in the um, linen cupboard. And then I need to sort out my desk space again. Um, I'm going to move all the photos that are in my bedroom into boxes under the bed so that they're safe for me to start scanning 
I'm going to try to get some more of my bedroom sorted out. It's too wet to paint today and it is too um, cold to paint really. Um, like it, it's too, like the air is too wet. Um, so not going to be able to paint. Um, but I can still work on getting the photos out of the way and stuff like that. So, And I have a mountain of laundry to put away from yesterday. Um, so I will do that. It's also too cold and wet to resin outside. So I might be doing some UV resin inside under the UV lamp. Um, and I also want to set up the... the um, what's it called? The little oven thing that I use for my polymer clay. I'm going to move that in, into my bedroom and set that up so I've got somewhere to bake my stuff. Um, and I'm also going to try to cut out some fabric for some Christmas presents that I'm making. And I'm going to do that in my pajamas because today is definitely a pajama day. Guys, BGM released the Christmas Jazz Channel. I'm so excited, it's live, which is a 24-7 stream, so I can listen to Christmas jazz for the next two months. I'm very excited. I hope they'll leave it past Christmas. They'll probably take it down there. Oh, that's so exciting. It's so relaxing with the fire in the background to listen to. So, I received the marks back for the change report I did on WorkSafe, and I got NHD, so I'm really, really happy with that. Um, I was a little bit unsure. I was kind of hoping for a credit. Um, oh, look at that smear! I'm trying out a new, um, a new mascara today, and it's just like it's transferring quite a lot. Anyway, um, so yeah, I wasn't sure if I was on the right track because there's uh, there was like really little feedback about what we should kind of do so a lot of us are like are we even doing the right thing um but i got my marks back i got an hd it's just an hd but it's still an hd so i'm pretty happy um so i'm feeling a lot more confident about that exam as well because it's i think based on a similar thing um so i'm confident about two of my subjects so i'm pretty happy with that um i don't think i'm gonna get my um, cultural management mark back before my exam because I did hand it in a week late um, I had an extension for that but so I don't know if I'll get my marks back I probably won't but um I think I'll definitely pass I just I don't know how well I'll do so yeah and I'm having a nice chat at the moment with my training and development uh, lecturer he's also the convener um, just because I was, I, he sent me an email saying like, congratulations, got the highest mark. And so I wrote back saying, you know, what I really appreciated about the course and I was giving him some feedback. And then I just mentioned that, um, I'm thinking of eventually doing the training and assessment certification in order to upskill myself for, um, OHS. Cause part of OHS is that, um, in a lot of places you're expected to also be able to train people but you need this certification to do that and now that I've done a unit in training and development um, like I didn't think I'd be able to do it but I did so well in the training and development unit I'm actually thinking that I would have a pretty good chance of doing well um, and that sort of thing so and training in it would be something I'm interested in doing so um, I was just telling him about that and he's kind of like um, wanting to talk about that, so that's really good. Here's an update on my foot, on my bite. So that's the worst one. Um, and it looks pretty... I mean, it looks pretty big, and there's the other two. Um, but the good news is they stopped hurting now when I press them. Uh, that one still kind of looks like there's something in the middle or it's a blister or something But um, I can press them now and it's fine It does still hurt if I stand on them for too long or if I wear shoes like clothes like runners, but um It's okay to walk around barefoot now and it's I think it's more itchy than painful So hopefully it means it's like healing. I'm not really sure 
Mr. Moose doesn't. Mr. Moose has had like heaps more spider bites than I have. I don't think I've been bitten many times at all. And it's never been this bad, so. Um, but he's been bitten heaps and he said normally it would like blister at that point, like when it's like that. But it doesn't seem to be a blister. Like, I don't know. So we're not sure if it's going to go down from here or if I actually need to go to the doctor and get like a cream or something or like yeah anyway so that's promising it's getting a little bit better still not able to like run but hopefully maybe by like next weekend it'll be good enough so fingers My crossed macbook like updated randomly and now i can't use photo cup pro and I went to update Final Cut Pro, but you have to pay $500 for the update. You can't just, like, download the latest version. You have to, like, buy the whole thing. I don't know what's happening. Anyway, it means I can't edit. Um, and I can't access anything, so I might need to, like, figure out how I can get my footage. Which I'm pretty sure I deleted off my phone and move it onto my laptop and, uh, onto my surface and go back to using um god i can't even remember what the program's called um on there because it's i don't know it's not working for me anyway so it's that kind of morning the girls got into a fight this morning um first thing in the morning i don't know it was pretty bad um, anyway, so, look at Alfie, look at Alfie, Alfie, by the way, is fine, no injuries, Wilfred, um, got accidentally bitten a couple of times, um, on his neck and on his shoulder, but you can see the one on his neck now where he's stretching it out, but, um, it's just superficial, it's completely fine, he doesn't need anything, he doesn't even need first aid, so he's okay, and he's not in any pain. The girls have been crated since the fight. It's like 11.30 now and they fought at like just before 9. So, um, Tao's got a vet appointment at 12.20. We may need to get stitches for her, f um, she's got a like, cut on the inside of like her cheek. Like, the jowl is here and like the gum is here and then where it joins at the top, she's got like a laceration across the top. So we're going to see if she needs stitches or not, or if we can just get everyone some medication. Tilly, um, she has a nip on her back leg and I think a nip on her face, but she's otherwise fine. Definitely the worst of the injuries are mine. Mr. Moose um, also got a nip on his knee, so he's got a couple puncture marks and... Um, he got like carpet burn from holding Tilly down. Um, so that's his, he was like, my worst one is the carpet burn. So, um, yeah. And me, I got the worst of it. Um, ow, ow. So this is the least damaged part of my injury, which is saying something like, um, that's actually teeth, not claws. Uh, that was Tao. And, um, let's see if we can, uh, I think that was it for my, excuse my hairy leg. Um, the worst was my hand. So, that side doesn't look so bad, right? Um, but actually, um, Tilly accidentally bit me there. Well, my hand was in her mouth, so it's fine. Um, the there's two punctures and they both go down pretty far like fat was coming out of my hand like, like bubbling out so i'm gonna go get stitches after we take the towel to the vet so in the afternoon um i probably only need a couple in each but um i don't know i mean i kind of almost don't want to get stitches because it's a pain in the butt but um I don't know. The main thing is I'm a little bit worried I've got maybe some nerve damage in my palm because, um, maybe. It's hard to tell if it's nerve damage or if it's, um, just bruising damage, 
but this knuckle is also, um, that's where the main impact was and got some bruises along there. And then, ow! And then, ow! Ow! Okay, let me just pack this up. So, there's a whole bunch of, like, sugar here, but just ignore that. I haven't touched that this morning. This is my coffee. Um, I was having to put digestives for, for breakfast because, um, I'm like, I'm not doing so great. Okay, let me just, let me just move these. I have to take you to the bathroom to see the rest of my, oh, there's towel anyway. She was pretty stressed, so I, hey, sweetheart. Yeah, I think you can't really see the damage from the outside. Um, we're keeping them created just because. I'm not in the physical, oh wow, well, we need to vacuum. I'm not in the physical kind of good state to like help them if they injure themselves further. Oh, we can, we can visit Mr. Moose's knee. So that's his carpet burn, which is, he said was the most painful part. He's on a conference call, he had to work. Anyway, it's very slowly make away. Anyway, there's like blood everywhere because I was bleeding a lot and stuff. Oh, my blood is gone. I'm confused. I'm pretty sure I left a pile of bloody laundry there, but it's not here. Maybe I tidied it up. Anyway, so. I came to the bathroom afterwards, I was shaking so badly. I've never had such a bad, like, shock reaction before to... This is probably the worst I've ever been bitten though. And I came here, and then I passed out, and I hit my head on there. And then I was, like, on the floor. And I just remember, like, waking up from the floor and being like... I thought I had a dream that I fell over. And I think I actually fell over. And then... So that was painful. Anyway, so I have a bump on my head from that. But I'm okay now. <laughs> Okay, anyway, here I am, and I'm wearing glasses because I don't know if I've got the dexterity to do contacts right now, but, so, um, let's see if I can, the camera might be a bit shaky. Okay. situation going on on my arm up there. Good girl. What are you sleeping? Just There's no blankets to sleep on. Like We're back from everywhere that we went to. Tao didn't need stitches, which is great. She's asleep in her crate now. She just had an injection and she's got some medication. We've also got some medication and painkillers for Tilly and Wilfred. Um, Tilly's also going to go on steroids for her skin because it's getting worse. Uh, we then went to the clinic for my hand. Um, I didn't need stitches, she just kind of pushed all the fat back in and taped it shut, so that's fine. Um, the pain is starting to kick in a bit more around my joints now, so um, I'm kind of losing some mobility in my joints. I can't clench or anything, and the rest of the tooth marks are coming up now. Um, I've sprained the tendon in my um, wrist, I guess it is, so it's... Um, getting sore so I'm just chilling out on the couch for the rest of the day. It's already like four or something. I'm just gonna start reading and um, I'm just gonna read. I can't even type because I was gonna start my exam prep but um, I can't type so I'm just gonna I think and read maybe. 
Just chill out. How cute is Wolfred? He's just, he's completely not fussed by his injuries that he's got during, by getting accidentally nipped, but he's, he's pretty happy. His arms just crack me up the way he puts his arms, tucks his arms and his legs together. And he's smiling. It's really cute. This just happened. Oh. So I was going to pre-order it and I didn't pre-order it so I was like no I'll be good. And then I was going to buy it on release day which is yesterday but I didn't because I was being good. That's the day after release day so I did really good. So at the supermarket we got some strawberries for our smoothies. Look at this strawberry. It is the size of my palm, guys. Look at that. That's like a serving of meat. A small serving of meat. Maybe like an eye fillet. Like a good, a good... Anyway, it's a strawberry, it's not meat. Anyway, my hand, my bandage have come off, so my hand is looking a bit raw, but it's fine. We're going to have smoothies and then hop in the pool. So. <laughs> Kitchen's clean, dog meat's done, our dinner's prepped, Mason was back in the floor, we made smoothies, I'm eating lunch, it's like 5.30, just having lunch now. So we picked up this plastic um, folding side for Tilly for the pool. It was on sale, I think, for I think like 40 bucks, maybe. Um, we're going to put grip mat on the side bit so she can run up it. Hi, towel. Hi. The girls haven't met yet since their fight. We haven't let them interact yet. Tao's shown interest in saying hi to Tilly, but Tilly's like, no, nah, I'm ignoring you. So Tilly's pissed off. Tao still. So we've got them separated with a gate at the moment. Tilly's fine. She's got shade and water on the other side. Although she's just going to stand there in the sun until we come and put her in the pool. Picked up all the poops, did the laundry. Alfie is pretty happy in this weather. He completely overheats, but he loves this weather. Tilly, I hear you. You're fine. I hear you, babe. She's sitting on, she's sitting on there going, I'm hot. Go jump in the pool, you nutcase. Oh, you look so silky smooth, towel. Paul's doing good things for your skin, your fur, and your great big dirty galoot feet. She's like, I cleaned them. How's her, how's her mouth? How's your mouth, darling? Can mommy see? A bit it's iffy, totally maybe tough. a little bit iffy about it. It's still a bit swollen. Yeah, it's okay. You have a soft dinner tonight. Actually, her, her food shouldn't be in the freezer. Yeah, I'll pop it down. Okay, that's enough. Back off, everyone. Come on. We are having karage for dinner. Miss Mus is having rice, and I'm having salad with my karage. We've got mugicha brewed, which is perfect. I have Pokemon Ultra Sun ready to be played with a full battery. Very exciting. While we watch the rest of Stranger Things. Um, the doggers are pooped. 
You can't see them. They're all asleep. You can see this one, though. Oh, hi. Did you find yourself a nest? He's very happy. You're very pleased with yourself? You borrowed? Mm. This is a very impressive skill you have, Wilford. 